Hello, folks. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today on Throwback Thursday, we're going to talk about something I talked about a few years ago. Yeah. Instead of the Batman franchise in, in the whole and everything, we're just going to talk about the villains and how they either got screwed over or then some. So first things first, we got to talk about the Joker. So the Joker is kind of funny. In the original franchise, the Joker died. Mm hmm. But of course, you know who he plays as him, Jack Nicholson. He didn't die. Yeah. And then we have the newest addition to Joker. Not going to talk about the newest ones, which is, you know, the ones that's right now, where Batman doesn't have a movie anymore. He was introducing Batman v Superman. So, no, I'm not touching that one. I'm talking about the one that was freaking made with the Dark Knight. Now, sadly, Keith Ledger. His Joker, he showed up and well, Joker actually survives, but because the actor who played as him died and they were kind of scared to actually just make a silhouette. That's what I would have done is made a silhouette of him in the corner watching as the freaking court case happens. That's what I would did. Have him in the corner, in a silhouette, have him like in shadow. So it's like, no, they're not going to show his face, but they do have his silhouette there. Thus saying Joker is alive, but because, well, no actor Joker is alive, but you're not going to see much of him. I would have loved it that if, well, Keith Ledger lived, chances are instead of the whole you know, you have just the judge and you have the freaking officers trying to get something out of the judge and make him stop being a jerk, aka the freaking scarecrow. Instead, I would have to believe that you have the police on one side and then jokers on the other side arguing against them as the other lawyer. That would have been fun and funny to watch. That would have been awesome. So yeah, Joker's dead. In both cases. Then next after that, we get to the Penguin. Penguin is sadly exclusive for the first one. And Penguin's dead. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Penguin's dead. And then we have Catwoman. She was in both of them. Catwoman is alive, but it's bittersweet alive. Because it's like, oh, well, Bruce Wayne doesn't get to have her. But in the Dark Knight, he sure does get to have him. There's a happy ending. And it's like, yeah, she survived definitely. And well, now they're actually living together somewhere. And I personally wish they would have just continued with that universe. Freak you on the whole, all the start a brand new universe. No, you should have just kept it as is. I know it'll be horrible. I know it's going to be hard. I know you're going to be like, oh, but Bruce Wayne's gone. And well, Alfred has all the freaking damn money. And Lucius, how is Lucius actually going to continue with the technology? It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I get it. But still. I would have preferred to have that universe still. Next up, we have, after that is Batman Forever, Two-Face. We have two Two-Faces, and they're both dead. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and they're both dead. They're gone. They're dead. <laughs> they're dead. And we have the Riddler. Sadly, is only again for the first franchise. And the Riddler, oh, frick. The Riddler's insane. The Riddler, the Riddler freaking lost his freaking brain. Yeah, he can't, he can think, but he's completely insane now. There's no telling if he could actually bounce right back and be like, round two. So, yeah, it's kind of sucky. And then, of course, last but not least is Batman and Robin. And you have Mr. Freeze. He's alive. Poison Ivy. She's alive. I, at first, I was going to say she's dead, but I just remember, yeah, she's a freaking alive, but... It's still questionable because Mr. Freeze is her freaking cellmate and you tried to kill his wife. Can we seriously say to ourselves, Poison Ivy is still alive even then? I kind of have to say freaking damn no or she's completely damaged in psyche form. <laughs> and of course we have Bane. In both cases, Bane gets screwed the freak over. In the first one, sadly, Bane... In both cases, Bane is nothing but a freaking damn puppet. And I'm like, bull crap that the second one had to be a freaking damn puppet too. That is bull crap. But yeah, he has a, he's a freaking damn puppet. It sucks. But the first one actually was just an old freaking man <laughs> who did it against his will. And the second one actually is someone who's a bit deformed, but he actually got help and... 
Well, eventually he actually is now suffered and most likely he's either in prison. I think he's not dead. Yeah, they're both not dead. Then we have the ones that are exclusive for the new one. Scarecrow, still alive. Joker, I already talked about him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then the third one is, of course, Ra's al Ghul and Natalia al Ghul. Both dead. <laughs> both dead. So it's kind of funny if you think about it. In the original Spider-Man franchises, every single villain is most likely dead. All of them are dead unless they turn a new leaf. So it's kind of bull crap on both ends where it's like, oh, but hey, you know how it goes, man. You know how it goes. At least the good news is that for the Batman franchise, the newest one that came to the end, they did bring back <clears throat> Scarecrow both times in the movies. And that was pretty damn cool. And chances are, I bet they would have actually brought back Joker too. But of course, you know, <clears throat> and they didn't even want to do the silhouette idea, which I had planned. It's like, yeah, I would have so just had the silhouette thing and most likely even had a soundtrack of him laughing previously. Just have him on us over there and he's listening in and then something funny happens and he's like, ah, 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 ah. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's, you can't show him when it comes to actually standing up. Yeah, so you can't have him set up anything, but you can at least have him sit down and just watch from afar, you know? And if you wanted to, you could even give him a gun and just at least have him one motion where you have his glove showing in light and then he shot a freaking police officer. <laughs> it's like, yeah, think creative. Think creative, think out of the box, but don't be scared. Because I really don't want to have the thing of, oh, well, the freaking damn... the. The actor's dead, so sadly the character's dead. It's like, no, you you can you can do something, you can find loopholes. So I wish they would have. Anyways, that was just a nice little fun thing to do to jump around and say, well, here's all the villains we got and everything. <laughs> villains that are still left. I think they did most of them. It's like, yeah, they still did most of them. Clayface would have been crazy to do. It's like, yeah, we haven't done Clayface yet, and thanks to the Batman, Clayface is pretty damn awesome. It's like, yeah, he is pretty damn awesome. But I think every single character of Batman has been done, unless we go to the actual previous TV show from the 1960s. Yeah, it's like, then it's like, oh, well, they didn't do every single character I don't really care at this point. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't care at this point. Just as long as the Batman movie is good. That's basically all we're really asking for. I don't really know if they could do any more person, any more enemies that were like, ooh, I mean, Killer Croc, sure, you could do it, but eh. I mean, why not? Yeah, you can rehash it a little bit. You can make the Riddler even better. You can make the Penguin even better, but really... You already, we, we, all of them been done. Unlike Spider-Man, where it's like, not all of them has been done. Batman has done every single character that actually is remotely like, yeah, why didn't they get a movie yet? 